Good morning and thank you for staying with us. This is PLOS TV Africa and off the press this morning where we bring you the major headlines across the national dailies and we're going to read the analysis of the dailies and joining me for that this morning is Dr. Femi Idowu Adegoke. Good morning to you Dr. Femi. Good morning. And thank Mary. you for joining us from off the press. You're welcome. And we start off this morning of the press with um, the Sun, the Daily Sun newspaper, Ohaneze, speed fire over insecurity. That's the first headline in the Daily Sun. And Constitution Amendment, not South fight over state police, devolution of powers. And also in the Daily Trust this morning, um, the Daily Sun, I beg your pardon, Afeni Ferre, Ohaneze, middle belt and doors amendment. And ACF wants status quo maintained. President Mahmoud Abouari, um, Okay, that's all the news this morning we have. President Mother Behaves echo us in the Daily Sun. Not South fight over state police devolution of power. Let, let's, let's, let's focus on state policing for a moment. I mean, yeah. it's, it's been in the public domain and a whole lot of clamor. Yeah. Well, what's your reaction to this? Well, um, I don't know why we're beating about. We're just um, dancing around it. Uh, the situation facing Nigeria has proved that it's time that we have uh, community police or state police and then we're beginning to see other regions coming up with their different uh, security initiatives. And what the federal government or the National Assembly needs to do is to back this by law. It's time that we have this because there's so much insecurity in the land and it has proven that the uh, federal security apparatus cannot deal with local insecurities. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the Punch newspaper this morning. Amata Kum personnel, Southwest governors to write IG for gun license. And Southwest, Southwest state escorts discuss Amata Kum bills on Wednesday as Northern governors NG clash over Operation Shege Kafasa. Now, this also came up last week when we heard about them, the, the, the groups in the North coming together to form their own security outfit, yeah. Shege Kafasa, which means I dare you. And so we're reading the news this morning. Um, the Southwest Governor's right IG for gun license. At the beginning of this um, outfit creation, they did say they were not going to be without arms, which was yeah. a major concern. How much security can they provide without moving around with arms? Well, for, let me start from uh, Amotekun. Yes. Well, um, the Amotekun's case, like we discussed here, was a case of putting the, uh, the cart before the horse. Uh, they got the, the process wrong. Before launching, there was no leg backing. There was no leg framework. Well, they're going back to do that now by saying, by Wednesday, these uh, individual state uh, House of Assemblies are going to pass bill on Amotekun. And then they're going to have um, individual states will apply to the uh, IG for uh, use of uh, license of uh, use of arms. Well, with the way Nigeria is, we need caution and we must be able to manage these various security initiatives so that we don't get what we have with the, currently with the police. There's so much. Uh, abuse of uh, power and weapon by the police. We have so much, uh, uh, what do they call it now? Um, stray bullets. Uh, I've killed so many Nigerians. Yeah. So I think with Amoteku or other security initiatives coming up and they're seeking to have uh, gun licenses, I don't think all of them should be uh, given license. It should be specific. Uh, it's also reported in the Punch newspaper that um, the Northern Elder said Buhari has failed to pilot Nigeria's affairs. Would, would you want to react to that? Well, um, coming, coming from the Northern Elders. Yes. Well, yes, some people will, like I, I watched uh, the media advisor to the president yesterday playing politics. I didn't agree with what he said at all. I agree the Northern Elders prior to the election pitch their tent with the opposition. But in democracy, there has to be opposition. So you don't say because they're not opposition, they shouldn't say what is on ground. They have the right as a citizen of Nigeria to say what they perceive to be going on. And in fairness, from 2015 till date, Nigerian security and economic uh, woes have become worse. 
So it might be that they, we are not seeing the commensurate of what this government is saying they are doing. We are not actually seeing it on ground. There's so much talk, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're there, but we're not feeling it and we're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. So that might form the uh, basis for the elders to speak up. All right, welcome to the Guardian newspaper. This morning, pipeline vandalism rises by 94% as rupturing occurs in 68 points. Experts highlight areas of urgent attention in constitutional review. Six persons returning from pilgrimage die in Oshun crash. Mm. And fewer DG lied about obtaining PhD from Benin Republic, says the ICPC. Still in the Guardian newspaper this morning, you have failed to perform Northern leaders tell Buhari how ECOWAS should spend anti-terrorism front by president. You have failed to perform nothing in a step, right? That seems to be across uh, many of the hell, uh, major dailies this morning and also um, the six persons returning from pilgrimage who died in the Oshun crash. Doctor? Well, the, let me, uh, let me con uh, just complete on that Northern Elders. The Northern Elders must have sub uh, supported uh, President Buhari in 2015. And they've seen the performance yeah. over the last four and a half years. So they have the right to come out and say, look, you have not done well. Uh, and I don't expect, like I said before, it's not all what is said that the federal government should come out of the block and start defending. Yeah. You don't come out and, yeah, that's their opinion. You have your work to do laid out, just continue working, and we hope Nigeria gets better. And on the Oshun crash, I don't know what it's costed, but it's very rather unfortunate losing people like that on the road accident. And we look at the nation newspaper. House of Reps broke, says spokesman. CBN's cash policy mops up 855 billion naira from bank's votes. And police quiz Nigerian Jaga Jaga Kruna over rents. And that's Idris Abdukarim in the news this morning. Still in the nation, man burnt son's buttocks, fingers for stealing boiled fish. 2023 president, not elders, give conditions and NEF rates Buhari low on security and economy. Forum leadership, a paper tiger, says the presidency. And lastly, in the nation newspaper, terrorism, echo has to spend $1 billion. Nigeria, Canada, they are, they are admirable, they say. 2023 president, not elders, give conditions. And this is about um, giving the presidency come 2023 to the East. What, what's your thought on this? Well, uh, personally, I feel before 2023, Right now, there has to be a lot to be done on our electoral laws and our constitution. I know the National Assembly, they're talking about constitutional review and all that. And some people are challenging them that it's not within their powers to just form a committee within the National Assembly to review the constitution. It has to be a broader scope than yeah. that. But for the Northern Elders, where is, for me, it's still their opinion. They're a group and they're coming up with their opinion on what should be done and what should not be done. But in fairness, I really don't believe in rotational presidency. Okay. I personally, I feel the most competent man or the most competent person should, I don't care where you're from, because we're Nigerians. And that is what has ruined this country so far. Trying to say, I'm from this place, I'm from yes. this place. And then the people suffer. The, the populace bears the brunt. A lot, even the people who are your local government chairman or local councillors, okay, they're perceived to be your people. They're supposed to be local people. What are they doing? What are they giving back? So it, it's not uh, about you coming to this zone or coming to this region. It's about who can deliver the goods and profit of democracy to the people. Dr. Femi Dewa Degoke, thank you for being part of All the Press this morning and for your contribution. All the Press will be back tomorrow, same time. This is Plus TV Africa. Do stay with us. I am Benny Ock.